Hello friends, I hope you all are well. To in today's video, we will study about the thick film technology. So let me ask you a question: What is the use of thick film technologies? So the use of uh, by using this technology, high density circuits like resistors, capacitors, and conductors can be fabricated at a low cost. Additionally, IT devices like diodes, uh, transistors, and integrated circuits can be added into form low cost fully functional hybrid micro circuits so for moving further let's talk about the thick film substrates so let us talk about the important properties of the substrates number one is good dimensional stability during high temperature processing good as uh, addition between the substrate and printed materials high thermal conductivity high electrical sensitivity that gives isolation between the components low price low dielectric constant low dielectric loss tangent and last is good machinable but no single sub substrate can satisfy all these condition we various type of ceramic that are used for making th uh, thick film substrate uh, in them 96% of alumina is used as a dominant one because it has good electrical and mechanical properties and as you can see in the table on your screen now let us talk about the thick film conductors these conductors are used for making interconnection between the components like termination for resistors attachment pads for dielectric components and electrodes for thick film conductors so a good conductors has the following properties good conductivity good uh, additions provide good biobondability provide good protective die attachment soldable with high leach resistance good line de uh, definition and resolution stable during processing now let us talk about uh, its materials and formulations so the ma uh, conductor materials are a small uh, metallic particle which is less than 5 micrometer so the first uh, material is gold it is a good high frequency conductor with low resistance usually about 0.003 to 0.01 ohm per square it has excellent bonding property and is used both for biobonding and eutectic die att attach of the semiconductor die so moving on to the se second one so the second material is palladium silver Palladium silver meets the most of the required property for the thick film conductors. So it accounts for 90% of the application, but it has a slight silver migration problem, which gives the poor results in wire bonding. So moving on to the next and the last one is copper. So our last material is copper. It has high conductivity and it is a low price. Because of strong oxidation in air at high temperatures, which make it necessary that copper must be fired in a neutral nitrogen atmosphere which is a more complicated and a costly process so this was are the materials for the um, making of thermal thick film conductors you can you can see the uh, in the in the table about these three materials so i hope you understood our today's uh, video lecture we will continue in same in, uh, in the next lecture session Till then, thank you, thank you very much.